hi guys welcome back to my channel and today will be another diy video i am participating in a flipping friday a challenge that is hosted by a lovely lady board of bananas i will insert her channel link is right here well kind of a picture her link will be in the description below but this girl is well i call her girl because she she looks so young she's she's probably younger than me but anyway if <laughs> this is an amazing lady i been following her for a while but i have not participated in any of her challenges this is my first one so i was really excited when she announced it on instagram that she's going to be doing this challenge which what will what it means you have to get you have to take one of your old items and flip it so i thought about it and the air for me, I have like a couple of flower pots that I've been eyeing and kind of, it's just one of those things you got to do it, you know. So when she announced the challenge, I'm like, I'm going to tackle that flower pot. So, which I will insert the picture right now of what it looked like before, which it didn't look too ugly, but it was kind of getting old, you know, looking at the same color. So I kind of wanted to pretty up in a farmhouse style, boho shabby cheek whatever one of those styles and i had so much fun doing it that I'm, i wasn't i was impressed with myself how it turned out it was let me tell you it was a hundred degrees outside and i was there for a couple of hours and my dogs had fun because i was outside for that long but anyway this is what we'll be doing today i hope this is something you are interested in if yes, then please continue watching. Okay, so I'm gonna paint this. This is really old pot now, finally. Got my plant going in there. And my husband drilled some holes because it came without. So it has holes now at the bottom. But I wanted to make it, I don't really like this color. You know what I mean? It's kinda, I don't know. But um, I wanted to make it the farmhouse style, so I'm going to paint with this chalk paint, the, the color is silver lining, all of it, and then I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'll make a, I'll do maybe two or three coats, we'll see how the first one goes, and then I would like to do some stencils on it, and some stickers, so, and maybe some rope around, kind of make it, you know. So, but that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, I went and got different paint because I want it dark. This is more like white. This is an elephant chuck paint. So I'm gonna try that color and see if that works better. Because I want it darker, a lot darker than this. Yeah, about that. So I'm just gonna go over it. the stencils that I want to put on and this is too light won't be able to see but this is actually not bad I might leave the top one white while well, the silver lining whatever that is color so but that's why I have to stop I had to stop because I didn't like the color. I like kind of grayish instead of white. So that's what I did.
Okay. <clears throat> so, I painted it, and I think I got the color I wanted. I really like the white trim, so I'm going to let it dry, and then Mod Podge it. And then I will do the stickers and some stencils on it. So, for now, we're going to let it dry a little bit, and I did actually two coats of that elephant paint and I think it it finally the color I wanted so I don't think I even needed to distress it because it kind of like made the brushes strokes so I'm gonna leave it that way because I think I, I like it anyway I'll see you guys in a few Okay, the stencil didn't work. I don't know if it was too old, so I had to do it manually. Ah, well, I kind of like it that way. So now I'm gonna use the Mod Podge on it again and uh, to seal the letters. And then when that's dry, we'll uh, go around and put some more decoration on. Okay, so while that sign is drying, I want to use this stencil. This is from Dollar Tree. Uh, this kind of like a crown one on three sides. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold it and use my white chuck paint to get the stencils on it. And then I'll go on three sides and then after that, I'll mod podge over it when it's over, when the paint's dry. Okay, so I mod podge it again on all my paint, and this is what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty good, so now I'm going to wait until it dries, and this is done. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Alright, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you 
love my flower pot as much as I do. I will insert the picture again here because I am filming in my a studio and I did not want to drag that huge flower pot over here to kind of show it to you again but that is what we did today well, I flipped my old flower pot into an amazing new farmhouse flower pot which even my husband liked it because he didn't really he doesn't really care I think about the farmhouse style he supports me because I care so <laughs> Oh well, so anyway, thank you so much for hosting this challenge. The, her channel will be Board of Bananas up here again on the screen and I will link it in the description below. I really enjoyed participating. If you want to see more videos in this style, there's a playlist going and it is in the description below as well. But this is all for today from me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're one of my new people, uh, please let me know. I would love to welcome you to my channel. And I hope you liked it and you will click notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my new video. And if you're one of my returning, thank you so much for coming back. Love you guys very much. Be safe up there and I will see you in the next one real soon. Bye.